Hey y'all, we are at the Harvest Days Festival and we are about to go harvest some pumpkins, go through a corn maze, plant some, plant some animals, pet some animals. I don't know, they have lots of stuff here. So let's go check it out. The llama just spit at Andrew and I missed it. Oh. Bite me? No. He's... Oh, I dropped. You got I'm scared. Sorry. <laughs> look at their little tongues. Oh, look at these sheep. Yeah. It's a, let's feed the sheep. Hello, babies. Hello there. I want to see you too. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Just took my hand <laughs> off. Lips are just, just oh oh I got coughed on. Poor little sheep over here. <laughs> this is so cool. I really like these. Oh look at you! I haven't given you one. There you go. I keep knocking them out of my hand. Oh look at this guy. I'm just in love with this one. Until he spits on you. I know. No, this, do you see this one? He keeps buttoning in. Look at this guy. He's like halfway out. Small. You're crooked too. You're like going. How about this? Put your face in there. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get back so I can see the whole picture. Oh my god. Y'all, this game is called Cornhole. I'm not kidding. Who's up for a rousing game of cornhole? Gotta try to throw those bean bags in the little hole. Guys, it's so loud. I'm sorry. There's like some kind of like electric compressor over here, but I hope you can hear me. We just bought the coolest thing. So they have this little food stand here and they have pumpkin rolls that they make with the fresh pumpkins from the pumpkin field. So I'm going to show you. Andrew got one. I can't eat it because it's full of sugar, but it looks awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Pumpkin roll. Tell us how it is, Andrew. I'm gonna live through you. Oh my god. Is it good? Oh, oh my god. It's really good. I'm so jealous that I actually wanna eat this, but I'm not going to, guys, because I'm sticking to my keto. But it looks amazing. I probably could have a bite, but I'm not. I'm not. We had to stop and get some waters because we are about to go into the corn maze and there's a sign that says you might get lost. So we don't want to be out there in the sun without water and it is hot today. We literally picked like the hottest day to come. It's literally like 80 degrees out here. Does not feel like fall. Andrew already scarfed down the whole pumpkin roll. I'm so jealous, but we just had breakfast. So I'm not really hungry, but Andrew really wanted to try that because it was made with the fresh pumpkins. I don't usually like sweets like that, but that was so good. Where do we go? Left or right? Choose Andrew. Definitely right. Okay, Andrew chose right. Let's go. It's a dead end. I chose poorly. Andrew chose the wrong way. We're at a dead end. Gotta turn around and go left. <laughs> 
Okay, now we're making a corner. Now we're turning a corner. All right, back on the path. Oh, there's more people. Are they lost or just us? Okay, we're at a four-way stop. Not the fun kind. <laughs> there's a fun kind of four-way stop? Which way should we, okay, that's a dead end, right? I, no, it turns left. Oh crap, I don't know which way to go. I think probably not left. Probably should we just go straight? Let's go straight and see what happens. We're lost in the corn. <laughs> it's like children of the corn out here. You can't see anything but corn. Everywhere you look is corn. It's corn. Corn stalks all around. And we're lost. <laughs> I guess that's part of the fun of a corn maze. I'm glad we got some water though, because the sun is beating down. Another dead end. We're gonna die out here, y'all. If I never come back to YouTube, send help. I think we made it to the end. I think that's the end. I see a big path. Let's see. <gasps> we did it! And we took the hard side too. It wasn't that bad. No, it was fine. So now let's go check out the pumpkin patch. Don't pick the first one you see. Come on now. It's perfect though. It is? Oh yeah, that one looks pretty good. It has a nice stem on it too. And it's pretty good looking okay, pumpkin. Okay, let's keep that one in mind. That one's big. That one's nice too. You see that one over there? Oh yeah. Oh my God, they're just everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of nice pumpkins. There's, they're everywhere. We gotta find one that's special. Oh, look at this one. This one's big. Look at that one. Ow! <gasps> they have stickers on them. That's sticky. Oh. That's a big boy. Oh my god, look at this green one. Is that a pumpkin? It's green. Oh my god, I kind of want this one. Is it supposed to look like that? Is it sick? Don't know, I want it. I found my pumpkin. It's not orange, it's green. Look at this color. I don't know what this is, but I had to have it. This is my pumpkin. We're gonna get a more traditional one for Andrew. Okay, Andrew, tell us about your pumpkin. This pumpkin is orange. <laughs> um, it's a member of the Gourd family. <laughs> pumpkin education with Andrew. And it's got sticky stickers on the stem. Sticky, sticky, sticker stem. You know, I like, uh, it. I just, like it too. Okay. Just a regular pumpkin. All right, we got our pumpkins. That was so fun. We got our pumpkins, and we here they are again. <laughs> Andrew's got some big melons. We had so much fun at the Harvest Days Festival. We did a corn maze, got our pumpkins. It was like a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. And to me, the coolest part was the llamas. They were so neat. Andrew, what was your favorite part? I like the llamas and the goats, the little baby goats. Oh and yeah. I like the pumpkin roll a lot. It was really good. It was made with the fresh pumpkins and it really like cemented being in the fall spirit to me. Yeah. And we like to support the local farms as well. So, you know, if we're gonna give somebody our money for pumpkins, it might as well be a local farmer who sets up this really cool little festival for our town. It was fun. And that's the first time we've ever done that. We've gone pumpkin picking, but we've never done like the festival and the corn maze and everything. So it was it was a lot of fun. If you have one in your town and you've never been, you should go to it because it's a lot more fun than you think. Now we're gonna head home and find a place to put our pumpkins. I think to put them in that corner. Yeah. Oh, they look so nice. Yes, I love that. They live there by our door. Perfect. Wow, there just have to be a lot of super loud noises in my neighborhood right now. It sounds like somebody's building or sawing something. I don't know. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I wanted to go outside to record because the light is just so nice right now. So I just got a special surprise in the mail. I can't believe I didn't think this was going to come until next week. But I just got a little mini Etsy jewelry haul. So let's just do it. I can't wait. I want to open it up and I want to vlog it. So let's do it now. Now I love gemstones. Crystals, um, amethyst, onyx. Those are some of my favorites. By crystals, I mean all crystals and specifically quartz crystal. 
That noise is so loud. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that. Oh my God, it's them. I will link to the Etsy shop where I bought these in the description box if you're interested. Um, oh my God, what a cute little bag these came in. So I got four of them and they were only $10 each. If you bought three of them, you had to pay $11 shipping. And if you bought four, you got free shipping. So I just went ahead and bought four because that saved me a couple bucks. Okay, this one is tiger's eye. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So I hope you can see how pretty this is. It is a tiger's eye pendant on a silver chain. I'm gonna put it on right now. Oh my God, that is so pretty. That is beautiful. Oh, and the chain is the perfect length for me too. The chain does have an extender, but this is perfect. Oh, I love that. So that's the tiger's eye. So tell me in the comments if you're interested in crystals because I got a lot of knowledge about the crystals. I like to use them and work with them in my everyday life. So let me know if you wanna see some content about that. This is onyx. Oh my God, it's a solid black onyx on a silver chain. This one, I love this one. This one will especially go with my spooky day outfits. Beautiful. I cannot believe these were only $10, y'all. It's crazy. They're really, really nice. So that's the Onyx. I just really needed some new necklaces and I wanted gemstones. Next, after I get the necklaces that I want, I wanna get the rings to go with them. Um, there's another shop that has gemstone rings that I've been, I've been having my eye on. Okay, here is my favorite one. This is Amethyst. Amethyst is my favorite stone. It's a purple crystal. And this one is so pretty. It's banded. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That is lovely. It's got like a band in it of a lighter purple and darker purple. I love amethyst. And really when I started this jewelry journey, why do I call everything a journey? I feel like a fundy or something. <laughs> when I started looking for jewelry, all I wanted was an amethyst necklace. And I found this shop and they had like all of the gemstones. So I had to just go a little bit crazy. And then finally I got quartz crystal, which is another of my favorite. These are probably my four favorite stones. Quartz are very special to me because I grew up in an area where quartz are mined and they just grow everywhere in the ground. Like there's just veins of them. Um, so I love quartz crystal very much. And this one is beautiful. I like them occluded. I don't necessarily like them crystal clear. So just lovely. Oh, I'm so excited. So prepare to see these necklaces in my vlogs a lot in the coming weeks. And the shipping was super fast. Like it got here in literally like two days. I did not expect these to be here today. All right guys, so thank you so much for joining me today. This was super fun going to the pumpkin patch and then I had the surprise of my jewelry when I came home. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this. There goes the car. <laughs> People are probably like, what's she doing on her front porch talking to her camera? <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all with a new vlog very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.